welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today I am so excited to be introducing to you our brand new stamp set on the beach and its coordinating dies. We're also going to be introducing our brand new die set hammock and trees which is so super cute and works really well with on the beach. We'll also be making three different cards with these super cute new products so let's go ahead and check them out. So first up we have these super cute laying down critters. So we have a fox and a bear. We have a beach blanket for them to lay on and a beach umbrella for them to lay under. And we also have all of these fun accessories. So we have a beach ball, some little sunscreen there, a coconut drink, and then a bunch of different styles of shells. And these are great for setting the scene around your cute little fox and bear. We also have these great little stamps to help you put little sand dunes into your scene. And then we have these sunglasses, which are so fun. And you can stamp them directly over the fox, or you can stamp them separately too, and then die cut them and layer them over. We have some great sentiments. So we have all these fun mix and match things. So we have have a happy or have a relaxing, and then all of these different things. So we have summer, day, holiday, and birthday. We also have retirement too. And then you can put to my foxy friend at the end of it, which I think is so super cute. And you can also add you've earned it at the end of it. We have it's your birthday, seize the day, and an exclamation point to add to the ends of your phrases. Next, we're gonna be using Copic markers to add some color to these fun images. And I love these little critters so much. They're really cute because they can be at the beach, like we're having them here with the beach blanket and the umbrella, but they're also really cute for mixing and matching with your other stamp sets. So you could create a card where they were looking up at the stars or up at the butterflies or the clouds. So I love that there's so many fun and cute ideas you can do with these guys. And I really love coloring them in. There's kind of two ways I like to color them, all solid like I did here, or it's really cute to live a little white area at their belly so that they have cute little white bellies and I'll show you that in one of the cards that we'll be making earlier. The beach blanket is super fun to color because you can do any color that's going to match the rest of the theme of your cards, whatever papers you're using. In this case, I colored them like my beach towels at home, so I have some turquoise and white ones, but I really love them colored in rainbow order. And for the umbrella and the beach ball, that's what we're going to be doing here. So I love rainbow order, and I'm using a mix of either two markers or three markers, trying to keep it really simple. I always lay down my lightest color first just to wet the paper a little bit so that it's a little bit easier to blend my markers. Then I put my darkest, my medium, and I go out into the light right into that white area. Nice and quick and easy and you can see just how cute that rainbow umbrella looks. I wish I actually had an umbrella like this because it's so sweet. A lot of times when I'm coloring, I'm trying to decide on what colors to use. I actually just Google things. So I Googled sunscreen and I came across the copper tone bottle. And so I decided to color it like that. So I've got the brown and the yellow and the turquoise for the sunscreen. And then of course for the little coconut, we're gonna be coloring that in browns for the coconut. And then just adding some markers to match with the umbrella and the straw so that it's gonna go really well with our umbrella and beach ball. And then for the shells, I really like doing a mix of really light kind of pinky browns. And then I also like doing either light grays or light blues for shells as well. These are the coordinating dies which you can bend apart at the tabs or use your wire snips to separate. We're going to take that die and line it up with that cute little fox. I like to hold my dies in place with some post-it note tape or any low tack tape like washi tape would work. We're going to run it through the die cut machine and then you'll see that we'll have perfectly cut out images and look how cute he is. So here is a look at all of the images in the set and how you can mix and match them. So we're gonna take that cute fox and add him to that little beach towel and you can see how you can kind of layer the beach umbrella behind. Then you can take all of those cute little accessories and place them around the critters and then look how adorable they are with their sunglasses. That's my favorite part of the whole set. It makes me laugh every time I put those sunglasses on. So here is the hammock and trees die set, and you can see that it's got two palm trees, some coconuts, and the cutest little hammock. I like to use a little liquid glue at the top of the tree trunks, and then I just layer those palm tree leaves right on top. And then for that little hammock, you can either have it plain or you can put this piece behind it to kind of be the back part of the hammock. And the way I like to layer this on there is with just a little bit of liquid glue. And that's because it's got a little slit there where you can tuck little critters or stamped images inside. So see, I'm just going to add a little liquid glue all along the bottom and then we can layer that piece on the back. Sometimes I'll use it tone on tone where I'll just use the same color and sometimes I'll use a contrasting color behind it. Just kind of depends on my card design. So there you can see how cute that hammock looks and then how you can have it hang between the two palm trees. 
The little coconuts in the trees is a really cute touch too. And then now here you can see how you can add the critters in. So the guys from on the beach are perfectly sized to fit in this hammock. So you just tuck them right into the slit of the hammock and they're gonna go right in there. It's gonna look like they're relaxing between the trees on a beach. <laughs> how cute is that? Oh my goodness. You should have heard me the whole time I was making this video. I couldn't stop just giggling because they are just so adorable. So there you can put the little bear inside and then the other idea that I love is you could take stamped images from other of your favorite stamp sets and put them in the hammock too. So in this case, we took that cute little dog from Say What Pets and he's just hanging out in the hammock. I think it'd be really fun to put little beachy things in the hammock too, like maybe a little crab. Now it's time to make the first card and we're going to start out with the really rainbow scallops paper and I love this paper for summery cards because they look like little sunshines. It's just so happy and fun. And so we're going to be creating a standard size card at five and a half by four and a quarter and we'll take that pattern paper and we're going to layer that onto the card base. Next, we're gonna be creating some ocean waves using mermaid cardstock and peacock cardstock. And we're gonna stamp out the have a relaxing birthday, which is such a cute sentiment. And then we're gonna be using the brand new simple wavy borders. And so this one has three different waves and we're gonna be using two of those waves. So we're gonna use the largest wave here on our peacock piece that has the sentiment. And we'll hold that in place with some washi tape there and run it through the die cut machine. And then we're gonna take this other type of style of wave there, which is a little bumpier, and we're gonna die cut that peacock cardstock to be a little bit taller. And then we'll be able to layer those two pieces together. And I think this is a really, really cute look. Next, we're gonna be cutting a circle and a scallop circle. And this is a really fun way to present a scene in a smaller area. So I really love the idea of using a circle to kind of highlight a little scene area onto the card. So that's what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna die cut some guava cardstock there and then some of the spiffy speckles paper to be our sky. And then we're also gonna cut a circle here out of some paper bag cardstock, which is really, really great cardstock for sand. So we're gonna cut some of that cardstock and then we'll use a simple stitched hillside border here to die cut a sandy hill. Then we can start to layer all of these pieces together to help us create the scene. But before we do that, we're gonna add a little bit of detail onto that sand. So we're just taking a brown marker here and just adding some little dots. And this is just a simple little thing to do that really adds fun detail and makes it look like sand. So just kind of dot it all around. There's no wrong way to do it. And look how cute that looks. And I think it looks really nice with those spiffy speckled dots there in the background as well. Next, we're gonna take Mr. Fox there and add him to our beach umbrella. We're gonna add some foam squares to the back of our sky and sand and layer that onto that guava piece and then layer that piece onto the card. And I love just how cute this scene is looking. I really love this whole layout. I can't wait to try it for a bunch of different styles of cards with different stamp sets. And now it's the fun part and that's creating the scene. So we have our cute rainbow beach ball and rainbow umbrella there. We're gonna tuck the beach ball into those waves, which I think is really cute and adds a nice pop of color towards the bottom of the card. And then we're gonna add our fox and beach blanket on with some foam squares just to give him some nice pop and have him be the focal point of the card. And then now we can take those fun accessories like the sunscreen and those shells and kind of layer them all around the card. And that really fills it in and really helps create that fun beachy vibe that we have going with this fox. We're going to die cut a simple puffy cloud out of some white cardstock and layer that onto the card with a foam square. And then just to make it a little extra special, we're going to use some chunky glitter. I always think of glitter for more Christmassy cards, so it's really fun to find ways to combine it on more summery cards. So we're going to add a little liquid glue to the top of the card and just spoon on some of that chunky glitter. And you'll see that it makes that cloud really special and that fun little glittery effect just kind of brightens up the whole card and just makes it really cool looking. So here you can see the card is all done so super cute and a really fun way to highlight a cute scene on a card now that we've done a card where the scene is highlighted with that circle and scallop circle, we're gonna do a card where the scene fills the whole entire card. So I've cut a bunch of images here and we also stamped out some clouds from the new Smooth Sailing set, which is gonna be a super cute addition to this on the beach set. And here I've cut two pieces of craft card stuck to five and a half by four and a quarter. And out of one of those pieces, we're gonna be cutting some sandy hills with the stitched hillside borders. 
So we're going to use two different hills from the set to have the little sand hills going in different directions. And there you can see I'm just kind of eyeballing to see what height I want it to be. And you can see how that's going to start to fill the whole card front. Then we're going to cut out one more sandy hill just out of that piece. And I love that we're able to do this with just one half of a sheet of cardstock. And so here you'll see we've got our last little hill and we can layer that behind creating a really cool scene to put our fun foxes and bears on. I'm also going to cut a stitched rectangle frame out of some white cardstock and that's going to frame up this whole scene. I wanted to add a little more detail to these sandy hills. So I'm going to be using the new sandy beach accents. And these are really cool because they're tiny little hills that have different levels of bumpiness to them and they have a stitch detail. And you can layer them anywhere on the card. The other really cute thing about them is that you can tuck little shells and sunscreen, etc. into the hills as well. So I'm just layering those onto the card where I think they might look nice. I'm going to hold them in place with some low tack tape and then run it through the die cut machine. And you'll see when we peel that up, it's got this great stitch detail that I think looks really nice with those stitched hills that we already created. I wanted there to be some definition between these hills so that you could really see the different layers. So on that middle hill, I'm gonna take some antique linen distress ink and a blender brush and just darken up that craft cardstock just a little bit. So I'm lightly layering it on and now you can see when you layer it that that hill really pops out and you're gonna be able to see the differences in the three different sand dunes that we have. Now to add a little more texture, we're going to be doing some splatters here. So I'm just going to smear my antique linen distress ink onto my craft mat here. And then I've just got a water bottle and I'm just going to spray a little bit of water to wet that ink. Once we have that ink kind of nice and soupy, creating a cool watercolor with it, I'm going to pick it up with my paintbrush and then tap the edge of the paintbrush, splattering paint onto these different cardstocks. And that's going to give it a cool sand texture. So here I added a little bit more ink because it was a little too watered down and now you can see we're just splattering it all over. Now to really help with the sand look, I'm going to use a white watercolor. You could take a white acrylic paint and layer it onto your mat and just add a little bit of water, pick it up with your paintbrush and tap the end of your paintbrush, splattering it all around. And there's something about those dark brown spots and then the white spots that really makes it look like sand. So now we can start to layer these hills onto the card. And you can see with that amazing texture and then also having that one hill that's a little bit darker, it's really, really filling in this scene. So I'm gonna layer the top hill on and then we can kind of fit that middle hill in between the two pieces. Then it's time to start adding all of our elements. So in this case, we have these awesome umbrellas we've done in red and white. And then we've also got three different colors of towels. And so I love the idea of, you know, how everyone's at the beach and they've got their towels and everyone's sort of like stacked up on each other. That's the look I wanted to go for, a really busy summer day. And so we're going to start layering all of these pieces onto the card. And today we're recreating a card by Elena. So thank you so much, Elena, for letting us recreate your gorgeous card for the video. Elena had a super cute idea and she used the beach ball as a little pillow for the bear and I thought that was absolutely adorable. I can't wait to try this on other cards. The cool thing with the whole setup of this card is you can see how you could simplify it. So for example, you could just do one hill and one fox and then have everything else be sky or do the fox and the bear and then have sky above that. So you could really take this idea and simplify it down depending on what kind of card you were looking for. Now you'll see here that I have some of the umbrellas hanging off the side of the card and I really like that because it looks like the scene just keeps on going like there's a bunch of other foxes and bears out sunning themselves in the sky there. So we're just going to trim off those edges so that it really looks like a nice continuous scene. And then we can take that white frame and add a little liquid glue to the back and layer that on. And there's something about that bright white frame that really just makes this whole entire card. I'm adding my last shells here and I like tucking them behind the hills and also into those little sandy dunes that we created. I really think that helps kind of set the scene and I love the look of it being tucked behind the cardstock. Then we're going to take this whole card and add it to a standard size card base at five and a half by four and a quarter. And then the finishing touch here is we need to give that bottom fox some sunglasses because he doesn't have a beach umbrella. So he needs some awesome sunglasses. And how cute is this? This is my favorite part of the whole entire card is adding those sunglasses onto the fox. Now for the sentiment, we're going to be heat embossing. So I'm going to stamp in some clear sticky ink, some embossing ink on some black cardstock, and we're going to add some white heat embossing powder right onto that sentiment. 
We can top off any of the excess and then use our heat gun to heat it up. We'll have a nice bright white sentiment and I love the idea of this bold black sentiment on that white border. So here I have a banner die, and this sentiment banner die was a little bit too long, but that's okay because we can customize it. So I lined it up on the left-hand side, and now I'm just going to cut it one more time, lining it up on the right-hand side. So once it matches the left-hand side there, I'm just kind of eyeballing it, I'm going to use my post-it note tape and tape that right in place. Then we can run it through the die cut machine, and that's going to give us a custom cut banner that's going to be the perfect size for this sentiment. We'll add our sentiment banner on with some tape runner, and you can see that this card is all done. It's so super cute. I had so much fun making this card. There's something about those little, the thought of woodland critters at the beach just makes me smile. Now next it's time to start working with the hammock and trees die. So we're gonna cut the hammock here from some of the spring fling paper. I really like the back side of this paper because it's gonna make it the hammock have a little detail, almost like it's made out of rope. And we're gonna cut the front and the back out of that same paper. Then we'll cut some of the palm tree trunks there. We're gonna cut that from some paper bag cardstock, which is the perfect color for palm tree trunks. And then we're gonna cut the palm tree leaves out of some cilantro cardstock. And I really love that beautiful bright green. Next, we'll work on attaching the base of the hammock. So once again, I'm just putting liquid glue all around the outside edges, but not in the middle so that we're gonna be able to tuck that fox in later. So we'll add that little liquid glue and then we can layer it on the back. And I just love this bright yellow hammock. I think it's so cute. I wish I had one just like it. <laughs> so that hammock is all done and now we can start to layer the palm trees. And I love how quick and easy these dies are to work with, but they pack such a big punch because they turn out so cute. So here we'll do the two palm trees, and then we'll start working on layering. So I like to layer all these pieces before I put them on the card because that's gonna give me the exact distance apart that these palm trees need to be. So I'm gonna layer the edge of the hammock on the left palm tree, and then I can add a little liquid glue on the back and then layer it onto the right palm tree, and that's gonna put those palm trees at the perfect distance. Now I had a bunch of different ideas for this card and not all of them worked out. So I kind of mixed and matched some things. So you'll see some things go on screen and out. And that first thing there is we have our palm tree border and I'm gonna be using that dotted hillside from the palm tree border. You'll also see that I have our sunrise backdrop there, which is so cute, uh, but it didn't end up working with the card. It ended up being a little too much and you'll see that in a second. So we die cut a hill from some craft cardstock and a stitched rectangle frame from some guava cardstock. And I love the look of guava, mermaid and yellow together. It's just the most summery beautiful combo. Here I'm going to be using those simple wavy borders again and we're going to die cut some pieces here from some peacock cardstock and I'm going to die cut two of the different wavy, two of the different bumpiness levels there. Now here's where you're gonna see, I start laying everything out and it just looked like too much with that sunshine in the background. I just had way too much going on. So at this point I was like, mm, I don't know. It looks really cute without the palm trees, but once you add the palm trees and the banner, it was a little too much for me. So I decided to take out those sun rays for this card, although I'm gonna save them for another because I think they're so gorgeous. And instead I decided to take out my stitched cloudy backdrop and we're gonna die cut that mermaid cardstock from that. And that's gonna give the sky a little bit of subtle texture in the background. And so now we can start to layer everything. So we're gonna layer our two waves in the background. I'm gonna put the bigger wave in the back and that smaller wave towards the front. Then we're gonna take that dotted hillside we cut earlier. I'm just gonna put some tape on the bottom edges and the sides, and we're gonna layer that onto the frame. And the reason that I'm doing this is so that I know exactly where to stamp the sentiment. So I'm gonna line up the sentiment in my Misty tool and stamp that out in some black ink. And I love the To My Foxy Friend, it's so super cute. Then I can take that whole entire frame and add some tape runner to the back of that and layer that onto this card. You can see how cute that looks. Then we'll add some foam squares to the back of the whole trees and hammock thing that we set up earlier, and we can layer that right onto the card. And you can see just how adorable, and even though I'm kind of missing that sunshine, I'm glad that the thing that really stands out is that cute hammock on the card. I really wanted that fox to be the main focal point of the card. So here we're gonna create a standard size card base at four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And then we can add some tape runner to this card base and layer our whole card front on top. 
And now this card is all done. It was super quick and easy to make because most of it is die cut with just that little fox that I had to stamp and color. And here I wanted to show you a little bit of a different version that I made of this card. So here's a slightly different version where I stamped the sentiment at the top and didn't use the cloudy backdrop. And here you can see how adorable the bear looks in that hammock. So I really like the card on the right because it's a similar idea, but it's one that I could mass produce a little bit easier because it doesn't have as many pieces and both of the cards are so super cute and fun. Now I have some amazing cards by the design team to show you guys. And first up, we have this gorgeous card by Yanea. I love the scene that she created and how she put that tiny little fox from Coaster Critters as the little baby fox at the beach. It's so cute. Melissa used the peekaboo backdrop to create her incredible scene and I love how perfectly these guys fit into that die set. This card by Megan is so gorgeous. I love her beautiful stenciled sky and how she's got the little guy selling food in the background. Here Kay used the hammock and trees to create the cutest scene and I love the scallops as her sky. This card by Leticia is just beautiful. I love that watercolored background. Here Audrey got super creative and she took the little dog from Say What Pets and put him on the beach towel. And I love that you could use your favorite critters from other sets on those beach towels too. These cards by Elise are so gorgeous. She took a similar idea and created one with the fox and one with the bear. And I absolutely love the whole thing and how she used our new just stitching double rectangles in the background. Here is the card by Elena that inspired us to make ours today. And then this card by Melissa is so gorgeous. Look at those sun rays that she created. Absolutely stunning. And then here, Megan had so much fun with our Let's Toast pull tab die. She got really creative and created a card where when you pull it, the cute little guy is floating up and down in his hammock in the wind. So I cannot wait to see what you guys do with On the Beach and Hammock and Trees. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.